Okay, looking at the engine, we can see that um, the oil mess is more liquid on that side here. So that leads to believe that it comes from the housing on that side, mainly. Also, when you look at the transmission side, you can tell there's a... Let me try to show you the picture of that. It's uh, messy from the uh, from the uh, oil pan gasket. Yeah, that's the oil pan gasket. You can see from the side. This is the split line right there. So that's mainly that. I don't think like crank seal doesn't seem so bad. There's a bit of. Uh, black but it's not I don't think it's all that maybe a little bit on that side but not much it's more the uh, the crank itself the not the crank sorry the uh, oil pan gasket and here is the uh, it's messy but that could that could have come from the uh, oil uh, housing filter oil filter housing sorry uh, I'm trying to see if the vacuum pump, not so, not so much. There's also the vacuum pump on that hand, but this is coming from far, higher above. So, yep. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna clean the uh, engine head, cylinder head. Uh, I'm not intending to rebuild the head. I don't think it's. Uh, Gonna be needed. I'm gonna check it though, but I'm, so far I don't think it's gonna be needed. The um, cylinder block, the engine block, uh, sorry, engine block. I don't really care to clean it so much because I'm gonna send it to uh, for oversizing and put new piston on it. So because of that, the uh, they're gonna clean it. So it's more a matter of taking everything away from it. So I'm gonna need to disassemble everything that's uh, that's on it even the knock sensor didn't mean, didn't want to but i'm gonna have to um, i'm gonna have to uh, write put maybe a tape on them to know which one goes where uh, also i think there's a special procedure to reinstall those so i'm gonna keep it give an eye at that thing to make sure um, need to remove the fuel uh, high pressure fuel Pump. Change of plan, um, I have decided to clean the engine because it's kind of very messy. Um, didn't want to have any dirt getting in the engine and create some damage because this is kind of thing that's very hard to get out once it's inside sometimes. So I put back the um, engine head cover, just uh, screw it on the outside just to prevent dirt to get back in. The idea is to clean, uh, and I started to clean the block as well. I'm gonna remove uh, these, uh, this binder pulley here. Uh, I gotta check, I know it's one of the cap that needs to be removed. I think it's that one. I will, you, you need to pop it up with a screwdriver. The idea also is to remove the uh, turbos. I'm gonna remove the engine support. Engine support is not, a, it's, a, it's a no brainer. It's a, uh, just the screw here you got two here one here at the bottom so that's three one two three at the bottom and probably another one yep that's another one right here this one here oh, hard to see let me show you the light Right underneath here. here. Yeah, that looks like it. So, basic torx bit here. Unscrew that. These two should come along together. It's one piece. Uh, that's gonna allow for some better cleaning. 
I think these are two idler pulley. I'm gonna remove them as well, but I'm gonna do just one at a time here. So um, yeah, I'm gonna remove this and the uh, engine support. Okay, to remove the binder, uh, it was not this one, obviously, because it's the uh, vacuum pump that is behind this thing. Um, so it's really more this one you need to pop out and uh, take out. In my case, I did uh, remove the other one. You don't need to. It's because I need some thorough cleaning thing in there. So uh, same thing, torch screw. This one is much longer because the uh, binder goes very deep in here. All the way to the back, it's hard to see, but it's, uh, it's very, very far. You can see it's the full depth of the screwdriver. So, let's remove this. So here's the binder, uh, been clean, put back the uh, idler on it. The other one's got to stay out. You can see it's right here. It's a very long screw that goes on that one. It's going to need some cleaning also. Gonna remove these two idler here. The bigger one goes at the bottom because uh, blocks got to be uh, um, empty anyways to send it. That I'm gonna wait. This is the vacuum pump. I'm gonna wait uh, till the head is off prior to go playing with that thing. So right now, removing these two. That's the task at hand. Okay, so all the idling pulleys are being removed. They're all clean. They're aside. This is going with the uh, binder. I will remove this uh, plastic thing here. That was to hold the uh, AC hose. It's a it's an it's a bolt right in the hole there. It seems to be a 10 millimeter. Uh, the pulley for the crankshaft has got to be removed as well. Do not remove the big nut in the middle. I repeat, do not remove this big nut. This big nut doesn't have any uh, key or anything to uh, transmit the, the torsion, the torsion uh, strength between the engine and the pulley. It's working with grip discs and uh, we're gonna try to get around that thing without having to remove that. So there's not gonna be any uh, issue with grip disc. So by removing these two things, all this side of the engine is gonna be clear and uh, then I'm gonna move on to the turbos and the uh, engine support on the side. To remove the uh, crankshaft pulley bolts, it's important that the um, socket sits uh, deeply in. I suggest to hammer it down. You don't want to strip those. It's also good to be going uh, opposite screws. You don't want to. You don't want to go nuts with the uh, impact wrench. If it's adjustable, you go easy. Sorry about that. That one I already put in, that's why I don't need to hammer it.
Then it's going to be time to uh, get ready to hold it in case. But it should be... Uh, don't think it's just like that. I think there's a diameter that holds it inside, so it should not fall. That's it. It's located. Let's make more sense. grab a rubber uh, hammer because I don't want to bang and create uh, permanent bumps with the st steel hammer there you go so this side of the engine has all been removed. Um, time to clean up. And then we're gonna move on to the turbo side. So this engine now is uh, that side and I'm just gonna remove the remaining screws around. I put those screws there. These are for the uh, steering pumps. This is the ground. I just leave it there so it's easier when it's time to reassemble but um, since I'm going to send that to uh, the machine shop, I'm going to have to remove those. I forgot to, uh, to show you, this is the uh, bracket that was uh, on the engine to hold this uh, AC hose. And this is the bolt that goes along with it. 